of the week. I'm Dara Breen and joining this week are Ed Gamble, Maisie Adam and Ed Byrne, Larry Dean, Hugh Dennis and Tiff Stevenson. We start with our round called, if this is the answer, mm. what is the question? On the board are six categories. Maisie, which category would you like? Uh, let's go home news. Lovely stuff. Home news it is. The answer is five weeks. What is the question? Is it, uh, how long does it take Rory Stewart to shed his skin? <laughs> <laughs> is it if Jeremy Hunt started choking, how quickly would the NHS respond? <laughs> <laughs> Is it how long before Chuck at Amuna runs out of options and has to join the Brexit party? <laughs> <laughs> Is it uh, how far into a contract does Paul Pogba fancy going somewhere else? <laughs> <laughs> Is it uh, how far into Chernobyl did I get before I realised Game of Thrones hadn't taken an odd turn? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Is it how long is one minute of cricket? <laughs> If I say I'm running five minutes late, how late am I actually running? <laughs> Surely it's how long until we, the British public, find out who is our next Love Island winner! <laughs> My money's on you. Right. <laughs> I can't believe you are new to this show and you're already <laughs> roasting me. <laughs> you know how I feel! Yeah. <laughs> is it how long a senator from Alabama or Georgia thinks it takes a woman to realise she's pregnant? <laughs> Is it for how long did I lie to my driving instructor that I'd failed my test because I loved him and I wanted to keep seeing him? <laughs> <laughs> that, that is the truth into this show. That is like a Richard Curtis movie waiting to happen. <laughs> <laughs> Don't need the sex, just the love. Oh, L for love. Oh, this right right. this itself. <laughs> is it how long after I pump you can you walk again? Now, just, we, had, we had established a charming and whimsical note in the show, right? <laughs> Elf for Love and the sequel, Elf for Love 2. <laughs> Is it how would I ask for five wigs in a French wig shop? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I like that you wouldn't even say, say you wouldn't even say mm, Frank Weeks. No? Frank. <laughs> Five weeks. <laughs> Five weeks. Five weeks. <laughs> Would, you in, uh... <laughs> Would you go in dressed as the police officer from Alo Alo? Uh... <laughs> I would like a five weeks. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, does anyone have the correct answer? Is it, is it how long is the Tory leadership contest? Um, that is yeah. absolutely right. Thank you very, very much. <laughs> yes. The question I was looking for was, how long until the UK has a new Prime Minister? The Conservative Party leadership race is hotting up. <laughs> it's expected to conclude by Monday the 22nd of July. The we... good news is that you don't have to watch it day by day, because the BBC have now released it on iPlayer as a box set. <laughs> <laughs> Spoiler alert, Boris wins. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, it's taking too long. They should just do it quickly, in like a bikini wax, cos either way we end up with a painful twat. <laughs> <laughs> This is the Channel 4 debate which was on last Saturday and the empty podium which was left for Johnson, who didn't yeah. turn up. They should have done it like they do on Match of the Day. It should have been a virtual Boris. He just walked down to the middle and folds his arms like that. <laughs> <laughs> and then on Alan Shearer discusses his policies. That would be fantastic. It was his excuse, though. He said, oh, there's too, uh, Boris says, oh, there's too much blue-on-blue -blue action. In Scotland, it's so-called. We just call that dogging. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I turned on too late. I thought Boris had been voted off the weakest link. <laughs> <laughs> Like, I have this weird thing because he's so presumed that this, well, clearly, clearly he should be the next Prime Minister. That I feel, have I missed a couple of episodes of Boris Johnson? Because when I last tuned into Boris Johnson, he was a dreadful foreign secretary who got, oh, was like, oh, I managed to get some British citizen put in jail for an extra five years. <laughs> wah, wah, wah. <laughs> I seem to have lost one of the DVDs. <laughs> Turn it back on again. It's like, well, he's clearly the man to lead the entire country now. What? It was what one of those happened? old ones that you had to flip over. Oh no! Yeah. It was all on the side. His new girlfriend apparently has been intrinsic in making over Boris and making him <clears> seem <throat> like 
a human. Yeah. <laughs> they have this amazing thing, apparently, that they, um, in the evenings, he and his new girlfriend, go cycling and painting. <laughs> what, do they do that together? Or does he cycle for a bit and then paint? And then in my head, I thought, is it possible? Is Boris Banksy? <laughs> 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 They're making a lot of this whole makeover that Boris has had, because he looks a lot smarter. Like, like suddenly getting yourself a nice haircut is going to change your career. Have <laughs> 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 you just oh, broken oh. up with someone else? Because <laughs> <laughs> this is a terrible way to tell them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they're trying to make themselves look cool, aren't they? I've never wanted to do drugs less. The when <laughs> Dove and Boris and Hunt came out and said they'd done... I reckon for millennials, this must be like their Zamo moment from Grain Chill. Yeah. <laughs> well, this is a massive cautionary tale that could end drug use in this country forever. Yeah, it's Picture just... Picture of Michael Gove going, I've left something for you. Uh... <laughs> There was, an, there was another poll during there, because obviously the way this works obviously, is that uh, there's an elimination of, of Tory candidates, you can reduce it down to two, and then the actual election takes place, yeah. which takes place among the members of the Conservative Party. But they did a poll of the Conservative members saying, what would you sacrifice for Brexit to happen? And 61% said they would dump Scotland. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> That would make me vote Tory. Really? If you uh, can count if you've done everything. Because before, I thought the arguments were a bit weird. Like, oh, Scotland, if you leave the UK, you're not going to be able to use the pound anymore. And we were like, oh, my God, what would we do with all our shopping trolleys? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I usually vote for the Green Party. I didn't in the last election, though, because it was important. But, um... Yeah. <laughs> But my, uh, my mum votes Tory, and she just said... The only reason why she said it is because she says when you get older, you become more right-wing, which is why I don't think the Tories will ever win in Glasgow, because none of us live long enough. <laughs> <laughs> it's also long-winded as a process. Like, uh, it was saying the other day in the papers, it was saying it t the vote takes place in oak-panelled committee room 14. Why do we need to know the interior design of the room? <laughs> like, is it like the judges' houses round? Like, if you... <laughs> <laughs> if you don't get through, you get taken through to, like, an MDF-panelled room. <laughs> Cheryl Cole tearfully sits you down and says, I had to go with my gut. <laughs> I want Cheryl Cole now to do the whole thing. <laughs> Just, I want, yeah. yeah, I want everyone to be. Or oh, Esther, I thought you did so well. You absolutely smashed it until you went on Lorraine Kelly. <laughs> <laughs> Just for how she pronounced Gove. Michael Gove. I couldn't tell if you said Michael Gove then or Biker Grove. <laughs> Oh, my God, imagine, Michael, it's, imagine if all this time it's actually been Michael Gove. He should come into his, like, uh, speech things to the tune of Michael Gove. Michael, 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 Michael Gove. Yeah! Meanwhile, what brought Argentina and Uruguay to a standstill over the weekend? Maradona dick pic. <laughs> Not that. The South American Human Statue Championships? <laughs> <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> Anyone know? Yeah, it was. A, it was a. They've had a massive power outage. How massive was the power outage? It affected 10 million people, I think. <laughs> but what I um, what I love, there are lots of pictures. It goes images of the power outage, <laughs> <laughs> and there's just photos in which you can't see anything because there are no. <laughs> And one bloke put, I've never seen anything like it. <laughs> have, you, have you never turned your lights off in your <laughs> <laughs> yes, all across um, sort of Paraguay, Brazil and Chile, as well as most of Argentina and Uruguay. Um, it's That's very good Uruguay. Well, I, you know, I had a moment there where I didn't know it was going to be Uruguay, Uruguay or Uruguay. <laughs> uh, Uruguay, Uruguay. Uh, Uruguay. Uh, uh, was anyone affected in uh, Venezuela? <laughs> <laughs> Colombia. Uh, <laughs> actually, uh, I actually once went to Venezuela to buy five weeks. <laughs> 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 we, we cannot tell you the weeks, senor. <laughs> we do not know where the weeks are. <laughs> We're good for the weeks with your hands. Uh, <laughs> what will this week do you, sir? This feels like a good week. Uh, 
<laughs> wigs got in the dark in Central America. It makes no sense. It's just me now, isn't it? It's just me. <laughs> I'm just on my own thing now. I'm on my own. I'm very happy here. Uh, <laughs> Oh, no, I can't say you like. <laughs> OK. Uh, this is, this is, by the way... <laughs> this is just the relief of not having to talk about the Conservative Party. <laughs> For five minutes. Plus the fact that we can be as offensive as you want about people in South America. They can't see, they've no <laughs> interest in me. <laughs> I think, Jamie, I thought this would be a perfect time for South America to mess with Trump. Because well, since it's all dark, we could all hide, and then when the lights come back up, just leave a note there saying, got dark, so we've headed north. <laughs> it would also be the perfect time for the Falkland Islands to invade Argentina. <laughs> Eventually, <laughs> wake up and there's a penguin on the end of the bed. <laughs> staring with its penguin eyes. They're like yeah. a doll's eyes. <laughs> staring at you, staring and then waddling away. <laughs> OK, it's ended up. The point's going to tip you and Larry. Now we play a round called Finding Tory. <laughs> this day. <laughs> involves Maisie Adam and Larry Dean. So if you could make your way to the performance area, please. This round is a stand-up challenge. I launched the Wheel of News, and wherever it chooses to stop, one of our performers must step forward and talk about that subject. OK, here we go. Let's spin the wheel. The first subject is going out. What's going on? Maisie. Um, I love going out. Proper love it. Total slave to the sash. Um, <laughs> oh, massive slave to the sash. I, I love going out, but as you probably noticed, um, I'm quite tall. Uh, and people always say to me, they say, oh, Maisie, it must be lovely being tall and being a woman with long legs. You can model, can I? <laughs> I don't like it, right? I don't like being this tall. I, I wish I was sort of like a, a little bit shorter, like a sort of cute height, like a five foot six, five foot seven kind of height. Like, basically, I want to be able to go on a night out and wear high heels and everyone not be at tit level. <laughs> This is out where I'm at with my height. I dream of a day where I can go on a date, right, and that's not it. <laughs> <laughs> Some people looking at me like, I see the problem. <laughs> um, I dream of a day where I can, like, go on a date with a lad and, like, sit on his knee and it look cute. <laughs> <laughs> it look romantic, rather than it look like I'm restraining him until security. <laughs> sort of where I'm at with it at the moment. Um, I've always been tall as well, always been tall. I um, was tall even as a, as a kid, way taller than everyone else, which meant that I was, I was never a cute kid. Um, and I remember quite like, clearly the defining moment in my life where I realised I wasn't cute. Uh, I was six years old um, and I had a bowl haircut, actually cut with a bowl, <laughs> uh, by my dad. Bright blonde hair, that was my natural hair colour. Bright blonde hair, bowl haircut. Basically, when I was six, I looked like Jack from Titanic. <laughs> I remember so clearly this defining moment where uh, I realised I wasn't cute. I was on holiday with my family in Blackpool, cos we know how to live, and uh, <laughs> we went to the shopping centre one day and I got lost. And like any good six-year-old kid, I went to the Lost Children's Centre to tell the lady. But I was really shy at six years old, so I went up to her and I was like, excuse me, um, I've lost my mum and dad. She went, don't worry, sweetheart, tell us your name and we'll put an announcement out on Tannoy. So I said, Maisie. She went, you what? I said, Maisie. <laughs> This is what went out on the tannoy in Blackpool Shopping Centre when I was six years old. <laughs> Hello, this is Chelsea from the Lost Children's Centre. Can the parents of a little boy called Moses... <laughs> <laughs> Can they come and collect him, please? He's wearing a Spice Girls T-shirt and leopard print trousers. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. That leads us with Larry. Let's see what your topic is. Let's spin the wheel. And the topic is confidence. There you go. I'm not a very confident person. Uh, I think it's because I was a virgin until I was 23. <laughs> That's too long. <laughs> That's way too long. I genuinely think this. Right? You know there's a minimum age you can have sex at? I think there should be a maximum age <laughs> you have to have sex by. If you're 20 and you've not lost your virginity, the government should get involved. <laughs> Because sex is like chicken pox. If you don't get it when you're a bit younger, it is going to scar you in later life. 
Because I've got no confidence, even in the way I look, right? Because I've got body dysmorphia. Like, body dysmorphia, if you don't know, is like the way that you see me is not the same way I see myself, right? So you're looking at me, and you probably see a skinny white guy. A lot of the times I look at my reflection, I see a fat Chinese lady. <laughs> She usually says to me, go away and stop looking through my window. <laughs> <laughs> so I thought what I'll do this year is I'm going to slim down and I'm going to tone everything up, right? Even though it's 2019, right? Because 2019 is a difficult year to lose weight because it's bad luck, because it's actually the year of the pig. <laughs> I know that because my reflection told me. <laughs> Is, is I bought this bad boy. It's a pedometer watch, right? And I've never had a pedometer watch before, but I've noticed something, right? Whenever we're my pedometer watch on my left hand, I walk like 5,000 steps a day. <laughs> and we're on my right hand. <laughs> I get jizz on it. Thank you very much, Jardine. Points at the end of that round. You're amazing, Adam. <laughs> Our next round is called Picture of the Week. I show the panel a topical image and ask them to tell me what's happening. So, what's going on here? <laughs> oh, is this uh, Donald Trump reading a poem to a hedgehog? <laughs> <laughs> Spiky one. If you Your spikes this... are so good. <laughs> Trump presents his new immigration colour chart. <laughs> I think he looks like a teacher who's found a note being passed round about him and he's been like, well, year seven, I think it's very nice that you think I'm a wazzock in a wig. <laughs> <laughs> Is it one of Ed's wigs? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's my wig. My wig. <laughs> Does a bit of paper just say yawn? The White House is a lot smaller close up, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> is it uh, Trump holds tiny piece of paper in order to make his hands look bigger? <laughs> is this a YouTube tutorial on how to origami a white hood? <laughs> <laughs> Is it just, it's like a horror movie. It says, open this and we will steal your eyes. <laughs> Trump wins ticket to Wonka Factory. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to know what it really is? Yeah, go on. What is this? Okay. It's Donald Trump. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're very, very strong. This is President Donald Trump, who launched his official re-election bid on Tuesday night in Florida. The president addressed 20,000 people in Orlando, calling the event the hottest of them all, of course. <laughs> uh, and so it all begins again, another Trump oh, election. Great. Are we all excited? Um... Yeah. Uh... <laughs> Hasn't he claimed that the polls are wrong? Yes, yeah. he has. So yeah. he's the that polls the and the Romanians. That's him. If he, uh, he left his, um, who left their job in the White House. Well, Sarah Sanders, she, she said she left. Whether we can believe her or not, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> she did. She said she wanted to be remembered as honest and transparent. Well, <laughs> I want to be remembered as Chris Hemsworth. But I think that... <laughs> I should say... <laughs> Uh, his, uh, what tweets did he send out this week that caused some excitement? He sent out a tweet where he got the name of the Prince of Wales wrong. Quite dramatically, actually. I'm not yeah. sure if you saw this. I uh, met with the Queen of England, bracket, UK, close bracket. It's just to clarify which <laughs> Queen of England it was. Yeah. Oh, the Queen of England, bracket, UK. Oh, yeah. sorry. Uh, and the Prince of Wales. Uh, There's only one letter wrong, guys. It's, it was pretty wrong, though. <laughs> I am the Prince of Wales. <laughs> <laughs> Is I sing my song to lure the whale then. This song isn't it's the pr actual Prince of Wales song isn't that different to Wales song. He goes. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you do your whale. You do your. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Easily confused with. Uh, <laughs> 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 
But even the start, I meet and talk to foreign governments. <laughs> even the fact that you no, they literally are. They don't. Ha they are foreign governments. <laughs> foreign governments. <laughs> So-called <laughs> foreign governments. Yeah. I like the everything. It everything. Like a teenage girl, like, oh my god, we talked about everything. <laughs> First we did makeup, then we did boys, then we talked about marine life and the whales. Yes. <laughs> well, he didn't just meet the Prince of Wales, he also met Prince William. Um, sorry, Free Willy. Um, <laughs> He shouldn't be like it was an easy mistake. He shouldn't be publicly shamed for it, shamooed for it. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't on poor boys. No. Oh. Oh. No. No. <laughs> no. I will accept shamu. I am rejecting poor boys. <laughs> yeah. The Prince of Wales with an H is a better nickname for Prince Philip, if you think about it, because he's grey, he's endangered, and he can't drive for shit. <laughs> As we know, that's the defining feature of a whale. <laughs> it's the ability to drive. Oh, oh, oh. No, your blind spot, your blind spot. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, laughing in the face of possible danger, what's going on here? Oh, let's talk about this. Oh. Okay. Well, <laughs> <let's>... <laughs> I mean, nobody actually died, so it's a laugh, but this is the precursor to a war with Iran. So, you know, <laughs> it's like a picture of the assassination of Archduke Franz Ferdinand. Go hey, on. what's up with this Archduke Franz Ferdinand? That's not going to lead to anything. They all laughed on Mock the Week 1914. <laughs> <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't know that's what it was. I thought that uh, passengers on cruise ships are now so old, they've just started cremating the whole thing. <laughs> I thought it was a booze cruise that had over-ordered on flaming sambucas. Mm. <laughs> you have to say, there are easier ways of finding out which way the wind is blowing. Yeah. <laughs> this is actually... Uh, I, I, I'm quite fluent in this. This is smoke signal for... <laughs> I'm a better captain of that ship wishes he hadn't sailed into square D7. <laughs> There's only one explanation for this. Richard Hammond on a pedalo. <laughs> Can whoever's singing My Heart Will Go On please shut the fuck up? <laughs> this is an oil tanker, one of two in the Middle East that were attacked last week. The uh, President Trump um, said that it was Iran who did it. Is it not true, though, that the, the big debate here is because Jeremy Corbyn hasn't accepted the evidence? Yes. Is that right? It's, well, so I, I don't think it's the... I mean, I think there, there's... It, the big debate here, maybe, about it is, yeah. Yeah, so he hasn't... Yeah, not there. Clearly not in Iran and Saudi Arabia. <laughs> On, the, oh, boat. Jeremy Corbyn, on the boat, as the thing exploded, yeah. they weren't going, I hope Jeremy Corbyn accepts the evidence! <laughs> I'm not leaving the boat until Corbyn makes a statement. Yeah. <laughs> is this Jeremy's approach to finding out about who... <laughs> <laughs> just knock on the... Where were you on that tanker? <laughs> funny thing opening up, there's a guy just dripping in oil going, oh, <laughs> funny you should mention that. <laughs> I I'm looking at this picture and I feel like he's walked me home and I'm like, I can get myself in, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, at the end of that round, the point of the Now we come to scenes we'd like to see. So if everyone can make the way over to the performance area, please. Mm. I'll read out this week's topics and we'll see what our panellists can come up with. Okay, here we go. Mm. The first subject is rejected exam questions. History of modern art, question one. What the fuck is that meant to be? <laughs> No deal Brexit technology. Using only a battery and a dead rat, create a solar panel to heat your last tin of beans. <laughs> if you have two lanes of equal length, how long is it until you can run for Prime Minister? <laughs> if Susie has three apples and two bananas, what is the probability she's already told you about her new plant-based diet? <laughs> Draw a perfect sphere, you may use a protractor and Dar O'Brien's head as a guide. <laughs> Political science. Boris Johnson is set to be the next Prime Minister of Great Britain. Please explain how without using the term clusterfuck. <laughs> If Mary has six apples, Thomas has four apples, and Gavin has a knife, who has the apples? <laughs> Sol 
solve X and Y by asking my ex why? <laughs> Animal husbandry, question one. Do you take this sheep to be your lawful <laughs> wedded husband? A-level statistics, question one. What percentage of you lot are virgins? <laughs> if a milkshake is travelling towards a fascist at 30 miles an hour, how funny is that? <laughs> Metalwork. Fashion a toast rack. Heavy metal work. Make a double album about your love of Satan. <laughs> <laughs> Without using the letter C, spell Jeremy Hunt. <laughs> Chemistry. Do we have it? Because I just feel like there's a bit of a thing between <laughs> us. <so. laughs> <laughs> Panel show host. Qualification exam. Can you work a poxy buzzer? <laughs> <laughs> Who knew? <laughs> if a boy is bullied at school for eight hours a day and he has to use comedy as a defence mechanism, who's the real loser now, Neil Johnson? <laughs> <laughs> The next topic is... Unlikely things to hear on a gardening programme. And this is the soil where I spread my seed last week. <laughs> In fairness, I didn't know the cameras were on. <laughs> <laughs> well, they look like onions, but they're not onions. They're my testicles. <laughs> I got the lawnmower from Halfords, I got the rake from B&Q, and I got the hoe from singlesexybabesinmyarea.com. <laughs> these are my peonies, and these is my peonies. <laughs> Gardening. All the effort of farming, but none of the profit. <laughs> <laughs> so, now that we've filled the hole, Let's pop off into town to the pet shop and try and find an identical dog. <laughs> People ask me, why do you grow vegetables? And the answer is, I don't know. It's much cheaper in Tesco's. And I could have had a life. <laughs> this beautiful rose is just like my wife. Vibrant, full of life, and if you try and touch it, you feel a prick. Why did you leave me, Karen? <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Gardening with Michael Gove! <laughs> As you can see, these blackberries aren't doing very well, and that is because the technology is shit and not compatible with anything. <laughs> It's great to have a part of your garden that attracts wildlife. <laughs> <laughs> Sweet pea, often overlooked, but shouldn't be, as it could be the first symptom of type 2 diabetes. <laughs> <laughs> well, to be honest, I would dig it out with a spade, but I, I've never seen a blackhead like it. <laughs> Welcome to the Garden of Remembrance. Ah, oh, there's where I left my keys. <laughs> <laughs> there are hard and fast rules when it comes to laying turf. Sod's law. <laughs> Come on! <laughs> I keep all my gardening equipment in different places. I've got a hose in different area codes. <laughs> OK, the... Oh, shit! I've got one, I've got one. Oh, one more, OK, one more, yeah. There's hard and fast rules when you're laying stuff. <laughs> so <it's wrong. laughs> At the end of that round, the points go to Ed, Maisie and I! <laughs> and 
and that's the end of the show. This week's winners are Ed Gambo, Maisie Adam and Ed Bird. <laughs> Commiserations to Larry Dean, Hugh Dennis and Jeff Stevenson. <laughs> Thanks for watching. I'm Gal Green. Good night.